was in Oprah that pertained to Joash the Abizarite uh, uh, and his son Gideon thrashed, thrashed wheat by the wine press to hide it from the Midianites. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him and said unto him, The Lord is with thee, thou mighty man of valor. And Gideon said unto him, O my Lord, if the Lord be with us, why then is all this befallen us? And where be all his miracles which our fathers told us of, saying, Did not the Lord bring us up out of Egypt? By now the Lord hath forsaken us and delivered us into the hands of the Midianites. And the Lord looked upon him and said, Go in this thy might, and thou shalt save Israel. But from the hand of the Midianites have not I sent thee. And he said unto him, O my Lord, wherewith shall I save Israel? Behold, my family is poor in Manasseh, and I am the least in my father's house. And the Lord said unto him, Surely I have been with thee, and thou shalt smite the Midianites as one man. And he said unto him, If now I have found grace in thy sight, then show me a sign that thou talkest with me. Depart not thence, I pray thee, until I come to thee and bring forth my present and set it before thee. And he said, I, I will not tarry till thou come again. And Gideon went in and made ready a kid and unleavened cakes of an ephah of flour and, and uh, the flesh and put it in a basket and he put the broth in a pot and brought it out unto him under the oak and presented it. And the angel of the Lord said unto him, Take the flesh and the unleavened cakes and lay them up on a rock and pour out the broth. So he did so. Then the angel of the Lord put forth the end of the staff that was in his hand and touched the flesh and the unleavened cakes, and there rose up a fire out of the rock and consumed the flesh and the unleavened cakes. Then the angel of the Lord departed out of his sight. And, then, and when Gideon perceived that he was an angel of the Lord, Gideon said, Alas, so the Lord God, O oh Lord God, listen to this, O oh Lord God, for because I have seen an angel of the Lord face to face. And the Lord said unto him, Peace be unto thee, fear not, thou shalt not die. Then Gideon built an altar there unto the Lord and called it Jehovah Shalom. Unto this day it get in Ophrah of the Abyssalites. Heavenly Father, and Almighty God, add your blessings to the reading of the Word of God. Say that soul that's lost, heal the brokenhearted. Bind up those, Lord, that need the, need the Lord. God, and help them, Lord, help us all. God, to walk closer to Thee. God, just be with us and strengthen us in Thy might. In Christ's name, amen. You may be seated. All right, as we begin to look here, now we know Israel had sinned. And we know that Israel was in trouble. Israel was, was in all kinds of trouble. Sin will take you farther away from God than you want to ever go. We've heard that this week in revival. But the thing about it was that Israel was, was mighty before God. Israel had brought, uh, I mean, God had brought Israel out of Egypt, and God had blessed Israel, and God has blessed America. God has blessed this church, and God has blessed you as a family, and God has blessed us more than we ever deserve. 
you think about it. There's health and there's strength. There's not. We're able to get up of a morning. We're able to go. We're able uh, uh, to feed ourselves. We're able to put our clothes on. Uh, we're able to put our own socks on. Uh, uh, amen. I'll tell you, God's been good to us. Uh, we're not in a nursing home. Uh, we don't have to wait for somebody uh, to come and spoon feed us. Uh, brother, I'll tell you right now, uh, God has been good to you and I this morning. Uh, God has blessed us as an individual. Uh, there's a lot of folks, and I've seen them uh, this past week, uh, that cannot even raise their head. Uh, they can't even get a spoon to their mouth. Uh, they can't even raise their hand. Uh, they cannot. Uh, I've seen them laying there. Uh, I've seen a lady this week. She's passed away. Uh, got her funeral this evening at 3 o'clock. Uh, and brother, I'll tell you, not a living soul in this world. Uh, not a living soul. Uh, does she have uh, except one son? Uh, brother, I'll tell you, uh, it's a sad, sad, sad situation. Uh, but anyway, uh, Gideon was hiding here uh, from the Midianites. Uh, he was hiding, uh, and the Bible was telling here uh, in verse number one, uh, that I, I don't want to run uh, uh, the away from the, the situation here, uh, but the thing about it, so, uh, but look at the last verse uh, in chapter five. Uh, but he said, so let all of the enemies perish, O Lord. Uh, now this is what uh, uh, they said here. Uh, and he said, uh, but let them uh, uh, perish that love him uh, and be as the son uh, when it goeth forth uh, uh, in his might. Uh, and the land had rest uh, for 40 years. Uh, but look at what he said at verse number one of chapter six. Uh, it had rest, uh, and brother, uh, there, and they had a chance uh, to come back uh, and do good. Uh, and brother, for a whole generation, uh, brother, we've had a chance to do good. Uh, and brother, we've had a chance uh, to get things right uh, in America. But the thing about it is uh, we're drifting farther uh, and farther away from God. Uh, but yet we want God to bless us. Amen. Uh, but uh, listen, uh, and the children of Israel uh, did evil in the sight of the Lord. Uh, and the Lord delivered them into the hand uh, of, uh, the media, of Midian uh, seven years. Uh, that's God's number. Uh, and here uh, uh, God delivered them uh, into the hand of Midian uh, for one reason, uh, in order uh, to let them see uh, what the goodness of God is. Uh, sometimes God uh, will let things come upon us. Uh, uh, God don't let, uh, don't strike evil down on you. Uh, God is not tempted of evil, brother Fred. Uh, brother, uh, and God don't put cancer, uh, and God don't put sickness on you, uh, but God will let things happen uh, to let you see uh, how great God is, uh, brother, and how good God is. Uh, Brother, uh, so God let uh, Israel fall into the hand uh, of Midian. Uh, and brother, so what it said here, uh, and that verse number two, uh, and the hand of Midian uh, prevailed against Israel. Uh, and because the Midianites, the children of Israel, uh, made them dens. Uh, now I want you to listen carefully this morning uh, to what I got to say. I'm going to go over this uh, as quickly as I can for the sake of time. Uh, and he said, uh, the children of Israel made them dens uh, which are in the mountains and the caves uh, and strongholds. Uh, brother, that's where we're at today. Uh, we're running from God. Uh, we're uh, hanging out uh, in all of the wrong places, folks. Uh, we're hanging out in the clubs. Uh, we're hanging out uh, in the liquor joints. Uh, we're hanging out uh, in the places of this world. Uh, we're going uh, in all of the places uh, that we think, Sister Peggy, uh, that we 
think, oh, it makes us feel good. Uh, oh, uh, the, they're not too hard. That preacher's not too hard on us. Uh, brother, if they'd have been here this week, uh, they'd have heard the word of God. Uh, brother, uh, and I hope you hear the word of God this morning. Uh, but he said, uh, Israel, uh, they run to the dens. Uh, they run to the caves. Uh, they ran anywhere they could go uh, except uh, running to God. Uh, they didn't want to confess their sin. Uh, they didn't want to confess uh, their wrongdoing. Uh, they had uh, peace for 40 years. Uh, and here uh, God had let the Midianites uh, come and oppress them uh, here for seven years. Uh, and this seven years weren't over uh, by a long shot. Uh, but he said here, uh, and so it was when Israel had sown uh, that the Midianites came up uh, and the Amalekites uh, and the children of the east, uh, even they came up against them and they encamped against them uh, and destroyed the increase. Uh, now listen to verse four. Uh, everything they planted. Uh, brother, don't that kind of bring things home? Uh, brother, what is the news today? Uh, well, they say uh, everybody that's eaten uh, this romaine lettuce uh, that they, they've got in the stores right now, uh, they're having kidney failure. Uh, they're having all kinds of sickness. Uh, they're anything uh, they're out there. Uh, you don't know what to eat. You don't know what to buy. Brother, uh, what am I saying to you? I'm saying God's trying to open America's eyes. Uh, God's trying to get you to see. Uh, brother, if you want peace, uh, if you want strength, uh, it's time America come back to God. Uh, it's time uh, we come back to this book. Uh, but he said, uh, they even the Amalekites, uh, they hadn't done anything to Israel. Uh, they hadn't done anything for a long time. Uh, and God had pronounced him woes upon them uh, back in uh, Leviticus, uh, back in Exodus. Uh, brother God uh, uh, was against them. But here uh, they had joined hands with the uh, with the Midian. Uh, and here they had come up. Uh, and they said they had even come unto Gaza. And they had come in. They had left no substance of Israel uh, all the way down, either sheep, uh, nor ox, nor ass. Uh, they had took everything they had, uh, everything they could grow. Uh, and Brother Israel uh, uh, went to the dens. Uh, they went uh, and they hid in the caves. Uh, Brother, they went there uh, and they had no business hiding. Uh, brother, they needed to be on their knees uh, and worshiping God. Uh, they need to be crying out to God. Uh, but Gideon uh, was hiding uh, from the Midianites as well. Uh, and the enemies of God's people, uh, brother, uh, but he said, go in my might. Uh, go in my strength. Uh, go uh, and where was uh, this might? Uh, where was this strength today? Uh, and brother, uh, I've just got a few things I want you to look at. Uh, brother, number one, uh, a definite personal uh, experience. Uh, brother, that's where you find your might. Uh, that's where he found his strength. Uh, and brother, what he was talking about, unless there first be a, a positive personal experience, uh, a man can do nothing for the Lord. Uh, brother, you can never do nothing for God uh, unless you've had uh, a positive uh, personal experience. Uh, that brother, there's got to be something from God. Uh, there's got to be something. Uh, and as I read to you, uh, oh Gideon, uh, brother, God called him uh, and he said, hey, uh, brother, I've got to know, uh, brother, this is God. Uh, angel come and he began to talk to him. Uh, he began to plead with him. Uh, and he said, hey, uh, I want to know it's from God. Uh, I want to know it's the hand of God. Uh, he said, hey, go kill a kid. Uh, go kill a goat. Uh, and you skin him out. Uh, and you uh, put him and you make some broth. Uh, and I'll tell you what. 
what you do. And he said, you make it a part of it and you bring it back to this old oak tree and you put it and pour it out on a rock here. And when he did, brother, I'll tell you, he said he touched it with a stick. Brother, what does that remind you of? Brother, it reminds you uh, of old uh, Moses' brother uh, when he brought the children of Israel uh, out of Egypt. Uh, Brother, when God spoke to him, uh, he said, you go out there. uh, And he said, hey, uh, you take that stick. uh, And he said, I'll tell you what, uh, you take the rod of God uh, and you touch that rock uh, and it'll bring forth water. uh, That signification uh, of brother, uh, you touch the rock uh, and brother, it'll bring forth the word of God. Uh, It'll bring forth some power. Uh, It'll bring a washing of the word. Uh, And brother, that stick uh, signified the cross uh, that the Lamb of God was going to die on uh, brother uh, unless the Lamb of God died at Calvary uh, brother the word of God would never came uh, and the because the word of God came uh, I can go to glory uh, and because the blood flowed uh, my sins are gone uh, they're gone for all eternity uh, and when uh, old Gideon poured that out uh, and he, uh, that angel touched that rock, uh, brother, that signified uh, the rock of ages, uh, the rock of glory, uh, the Lamb of God. Uh, he said, uh, boy, surely this is God. Uh, and God, he said, uh, because uh, I've seen the face of God, I'm going to die. And God said, thou shalt not surely die. He wanted a personal experience and God gave it to him. Brother, if you want something from God, ask him. Ask him. If you want something straight from God, just ask him for it. Oh, Gideon said, God, I want some power. God, I want some strength. I want something straight from you. I don't want some tomfoolery. Brother, I want something that's real. And unless it's real, it ain't going to work. A thorough analysis of the condition around about us and why these conditions happen. You got to take a thorough look, look at what's around you. I've said it here so much, you're taught of hearing it. You lay down with the dogs, you're going to get up with the fleas. Buddy, why then is all of this befalling us? Look at verse number 13. I read it to you. And he said this, And Gideon said unto him, Now he's talking to the angel. Listen to what he said. Oh, my Lord, if the Lord be with us. Now look, at he's questioning If the Lord be with us, why then is all of this befallen us? That ever happened to you? God, if you're really God, why am I having all this trouble? God, if you're really, if I'm really saved, God, show me something. God, why why should God come down and show you something individually? Why should God just pick you out and come down and sleep in your bed? Why should God do all of this just to please you? God done it at Calvary to please the whole world that you might be saved and everybody in it. And he said, now listen, Gideon said in verse number 13, why then is all, and where is all the miracles which our father told us of saying? Did not the Lord bring us up out of Egypt? But now, the Lord hath forsaken us and delivered us into the hands of the Midianites. Moral and social evils are all about us, is what he's saying. Lord, look, look all around me. God, I'm having everything. The light bill's too high. Lord, the oil barrel's empty. Dear God, the air conditioner don't work. What is he talking about? 
slaves, too wicked. The enemies of God are on every hand. Lord, somebody's talking about me. Lord, they're running me down at church. They're putting me down because I don't have clothes like they got. Dear God, do you not think that they put the Lamb of God down before they did you? But he still died for you. Personal sin of faithfulness. He was hiding from. Personal sin of faithfulness. They was running and hiding in the dens and the caves uh, and they had personal sins in their life and they'd, they'd been hiding for 40, almost 47 years. They'd been hiding. And God said, Gideon, I'm gonna give you some might. But he said, what is it? What is it, Lord? Is it coming from you? Or is it coming from this? Is this really your word? Is this really your angel? Is this really your strength? And what is he saying? What was the extent? Are we responsible? What or why or, or have I really done, God? Is it me? Is it the church? Is it the preacher? What's really going on? But God, I really want to know. And the Lord looked upon him and said, look in verse number 14. Lord looked upon him and said, go in this thy might, and thou shalt save Israel from the hand of the Midianites. What? For, now listen, have not I sent thee? Have not I saved thee? Have not I give you a testimony? Have not I give you permission to stand up and shout in church? Have not I give you permission to stand up and praise me? Have not I give you permission to slap your hands? Have not I give you permission to holler amen? Have not I give you permission to praise God? Have not I give you permission to worship me in the house of God? Have not I give you permission to holler, holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. Brother, what we need today in the house of God is worship. Brother, but Gideon hadn't been doing. Why? Because he'd been hiding. But God said, I've sent you. I have sent you. And the approval of God will help all the trouble voyages you go on. Let God get you in the car. Let God drive you down the road. It will help the old thorny, troubled path that you go to work of a morning. Oh God, I've had such a weekend. Oh God, I can't hardly go. Oh Lord, have mercy, God, I'm a hurting all over. Why not go in there, praise God, boy, I went to church and God blessed me. Hallelujah to God, devil. Brother, get out of here. I'm gonna have a wonderful week this week. Brother, that's the way to start out your week. Don't let the devil know you've had a trouble day. Gideon said, Lord, I wanna know it's you. I want to know it's you. Divine companionship. But look in verse number 15. Look at humility. Look what he said. Then said he unto him. I hear he's talking back at him. Oh my Lord, wherewith shall I save Israel? Behold, my family are poor. God, I, I'm just, I'm just a poor little feller. Lord, God said, you're saved. Amen. And I've given you all the riches of glory. You're my son. You're my daughter. Amen, young lady, just lift that hand a little higher. Amen. Amen, just lift it up and praise God. 
Amen, you don't have to die and go to hell. Amen, thank God. He said, Gideon, you're mine and I'm yours. All I have is yours and you're mine and all the devils in hell can't slay you when I've got you under my hand. You're the apple of my eye and you're in the palm of my hand and nobody can get you out. You're mine. And brother, listen. He become humble in verse number 15. And look at divine companionship in verse number 16. And the Lord said, surely, 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 I will be with thee. Anybody got a safe deposit box? You don't raise your hand. But the thing about it is, when you take any, all your, any of your valuables down there, you put it in there, and you pay a price for a surety. I worked there for nearly 17 years, and you, it's a surety. Dwayne, you go in there, and you walk into that vault, you walk through the first gate. All right, but then you walk through the second gate. That's a surety. That's surety. But it takes two keys. It takes two keys to get into that box. All right, but still yet, you can't take the second key. You've got to have, go in there and be accompanied with the person that has the surety key. Amen. Hallelujah to God. Brother, uh, one day, uh, uh, one night, I went to the altar. Uh, brother, uh, and I was drawn to that altar. Uh, brother, with the one that had the key. Uh, but brother, uh, when I knelt down, Brother Jerry, uh, I knelt down. Uh, and brother, uh, I met the one uh, that had the second key. Uh, Glory to God, uh, sister, uh, I knelt down, uh, and Dwayne, uh, that net had the second key. Uh, brother, he walked up, uh, and he said, Dean, uh, I've got the key of surety. Uh, brother, I've got the one, uh, that sh I'm the one uh, that shed the blood. Uh, I'm the one uh, that went to Calvary. Uh, I'm the one that can unlock it all. Uh, I'll give you uh, uh, whatever uh, that I've got in glory uh, under the authority uh, of God the Father, uh, God the Son, uh, and God the Holy Ghost. Uh, it's all yours uh, because I shed the blood for you. And glory to God, uh, brother, I've got that surety tonight or this morning. Why? But look what he said. He said, surely I will be with thee. That's where he got his might. And what was it? It was the power of God. The thing about it is, belief in God's word and loyal to his will was Gideon. He went down there in chapter 7, and I'm going to touch on this. And I'm done. He started out, he had 20 and 2,000 men. Then there remained 10,000. You'll find this in chapter 7 and in verse number 3. And brother, he went on down there, and God said, You take that 10,000 and you take them down to the creek. And them that lap like a dog. I'll let you take them with you. And brother, they went down there. You ever drunk out of a creek? Oh boy, Dwayne, that's some good water, ain't it? Boy, you get back up on them mountains, Chris, and buddy, you get down there, and boy, you just begin to lap that stuff up. Oh, I mean, sister, you just lap it up. Me and my wife used to get up on them mountains and deer hunt together. Yes, sir. 
Brother, I've got pictures of her at the house where she killed. She killed two turkeys in one shot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We both had turkey tags, and that gone her hide. And brother, she shot uh, both of them, and I couldn't hunt. Mm. I told her to shoot one, had five and one bunch. And it don't take her long to fill the freezer. But the thing about it is, and then she stood in the back door and killed a, what, what's that, nine-pointer? Yeah, shot a nine-pointer. Got it mounted on the wall. I tell you, Dwayne, I don't want her shooting at me. <laughs> uh -uh, no, no, no. But the thing about it is, but anyway, God works things out. God will work things out for us. But he went down there and they began to lap it all up. And you get so thirsty, you can't hardly go. But them mountain streams become an oasis in a desert. And you get down there and it ain't deep. You'll scoop that up and you find out you got a lizard. You just flip him out. And yeah. Oh, oh, Brooke, you, you'd eat that lizard. Yeah. He'll slide down easy. I guess I ain't eating it either. But the thing about it says, there's 300 of them. And he whooped the Midianites and ran them and ran them and ran them. Why? Because God sent him. And the thing about it says, Gideon did with 300 men and God what he could not have done with nearly 30,000. Oh, think about it. He started out with a whole crowd. And the thing about it was, he said, send them home. Send them home, them that are afraid. Them that are afraid and all of this, send them home. And 20 some thousand stayed 20 what was it 22,000 stayed nearly 30,000 at first oh I'll stay huh sound like Mount Carmel hmm oh preacher yeah send my wife she'll help you get my youngins get my neighbor why don't you well or I just ain't got time I got a watch of gun smoke. <laughs> Ain't that right, sister? Yeah. My favorite picture's on tonight. I really can't come to revival. Well, I'll tell you what. I might try to come one night. Boy, you're doing the preacher a favor? No. You ain't doing me no favor. You got to answer to God. Amen. I'll try to come Sunday. Well, if nothing else... If I ain't got nothing to do, I'll try to come to preach, and I ain't going to fool with Sunday school. That's just too early to get up, preacher. Preacher, I had to work all week, and I just ain't getting up at no 8 o'clock to come to Sunday school. Tell God. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. That's between you and God. Gideon said, God, I'll go fight. I just want you to go with me. He said, I ain't going to give you 30,000. I ain't going to give you 22,000, 23,000. I ain't going to give you 10,000. I'm going to give you 300. And you know what? They just had swords. They had an empty pitcher with a light in it. He put a hundred on that side and a hundred on this side and he took a hundred on that side. And he said, I'll tell you what I want you to do, boys. I want you to wait on me. I want you to do just like I do. I want you, Mount Carmel, to follow me, if you will. Would you do that? Would you follow me to glory? Would you do that? Brother Jerry, would you follow me to glory? That's what Gideon said. He said, I want you to do just like I do. He got all the men 
He got all the people in special position as they get a song ready. You know what he done? He said, I want you to break your pitchers and blow your trumpets. And then Midianites saw all them lights and they heard them trumpets blow and they heard them pitchers break and they saw them candle lights, them lanterns light up a country, didn't they, sister? And brother, they hit the brush. They hit the brush of running and boy, I mean, they scattered. And you know what 300 million, I, I mean, uh, uh, Israelites done both? They took out after them with a sword and they, brother, they run them out of the country and killed them. Every one they could get and they got down to two kings. And you know what they done? They cut their heads off and brought their heads back. They said, oh, looky here. Look right here, Gene Rogers. Look right here what we got. <laughs> we got frickin' frack. <laughs> yeah, boy, we got them both right here. We got them. Now, boys, do you all want some of this? Boy, here they went again. And they run them from into the next counties. And he said, I ain't stopping till I get them out of three or four more counties. And Israel found peace because of one man found his might in God Almighty. Let's stand. Heavenly Father and Almighty God as we stand together today. God, as we come to the conclusion of this, God eliminated them he eliminated them from any further trouble. Victory was following the will and the way of God. Victory was following because Gid, Gideon, oh Gid, yes. Oh Gideon, God, God your man was following you. Lord, today we can find victory. Lord, if we will just follow you. As Sister Stephanie plays for just a second before we sing with heads bowed, are you following God? Are you following God today? If not, today would be a good day to follow him. Today it would be a good day for you to follow the Lord your God Almighty. Today would be a good day just to start following Him. Heavenly Father, touch hearts. They've tried everything else maybe, but Lord, let them try you. In Jesus' name, amen.